Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Sentinels of the Multiverse, Sentinel Comics, five-year anniversary collector cards. This is the hero promos and the large size villain cards, both in foil. I technically had this one for a while now, just never bothered opening it. Got around when I started getting uh, doing YouTube or planning it and wanted to save it for when the rest of the uh, Kickstarter arrived. Here it is, late as hell, but here it is. And this one arrived with the Kickstarter. Yeah, they shipped this one early for some reason. Uh, it was even already in stores for a while as I found it at my local gaming store. So we're gonna start with this one. So this is all of the previously existing, possibly new ones, as I have yet to open up the new promos, um, in foil version of all the heroes. Little tag thing on the back. Uh, so, nice little back artwork. I think they use the same artwork in the all-in-one box, but the artwork wraps around. Nice little box that closes. Plenty of room still in it. Pack of cards. <gasps> a card game with cards? What? So, before this, I didn't have any of the promos. It was something that I always ended up missing out on. Funny note, from what I heard, this company, Greater Than Games, got to the point where they just released digital versions of their promos because a lot of them were from going to cons and such or reordering things, and people would hike the prices up. Like crazy. They would scalp them hard. Greater Than Games went, no. We're just gonna kill the market. You want the physical one, whatever. And now they just sold them with the Kickstarter. And I think they started sell we're planning to sell them afterwards. So they literally just killed the market on it. So promo hero cards and promo villain cards. I don't know if those are promos or just the villain cards. Here's the regular heroes with alternate artwork and alternate rules. The only thing that changes is their base card. Like I don't even know if the back changes, but it's, usually a hit point difference, and almost always the base uh, power is different. An earlier version, Legacy, and I believe this is this is the original Legacy, so the original ones are in here as well, foil, and Young Legacy, aka his daughter. But you use the same deck for playing either, and it's just like, okay, one has one base power, one has another, one has 32 HP, the other one has 30. Then there's another Legacy, doesn't actually say like a name for it. The Freedom 5 version. And then yeah, here's like Bunker, the original version of them. And then it just goes into all sorts of different kind of versions. Remember that this is a setting that has messing with time and also alternate dimensions. So you'll get all sorts of different kind of things. But like here's the original Tachyon. That looks like slightly different artwork. I know that the artwork for these was updated for this specific version and future releases anyway. But yeah, it just continues on and on and on. These are really pretty foils. If people would like for me to go over these in detail, please comment and I will. But if people want to see that, uh, for me to go over these in details, I can do so, or I can cover them with the decks, which I might do anyway. Regardless, here's the other package. Villain cards. I love the large villain cards for two reasons. One, almost all of them still come with a smaller card, so you have two copies of the rules lying around. In some cases now I'll have three. And... They're just nicer to be able to see the art. Usually what I would do is take the normal one, which is was the size of these cards, and pass that around and leave this one on the table. So again, this is separate. No artwork or no excessive artwork. There's still some in general. I think this is supposed to be a flip book kind of thing, like magnetized close. Yep. All right, so the artwork's all on the inside. And Oblivion Character Card Booklet. Oh, this I didn't expect. It's a foil booklet of Oblivion, who is a booklet, not a card. Got a nice little pole lanyard. Although you can just flip it like that. It looks like they did the same thing here. Obviously this is more than all the villains. I don't think there's that many, but I could be wrong. Especially if they included foil versions of all the Vengeance villains. So we've got Baron Blade. Same rules by the looks of it, but uh, different artwork. Omnitron, their version of Brainiac. 
believe different artwork uh, i haven't come across one that yet that i just be like oh yeah that's definitely different like i think matriarch is the same the chairman is definitely the same so is the operative mad bomber baron blade i think is the same so these are sticking together like another one of the packs in the base game so i'm trying to see if these are just the base ones which i'd still be happy with uh although i i want to get them animated or something which would be a pain in the ants or if there are some promos in here i'm just gonna actually jump yeah like that that's just a solid block there and it, it only split into three pieces <laughs> that's a little obnoxious not a real problem but still obnoxious like hey so they did include the vengeance stuff which I think is literally everything that was this block, funny enough. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Uh, so this would really be the Vengeance and uh, Villains of the Multiverse, which was just an expansion that added more environments and then more of the team-up villains, to be precise. <laughs> the Greaser. Combination of Lobo and the Fawns. Um, these appear to be different art. If I can find one of the other earlier... Yes, I think these are different art. Um, Friction might be the same. Ermine, I think, is different. Basically, their version of Catwoman. Proletariat! Multiplicity, or Multiplicity Man. Ambuscade exists as a, a standalone as well. A lot of these do, actually. Biomancer. Never did I actually face him. I haven't played the um, Villains expansion, or Villains of the Multiverse, too much. Bugbear. Annoying as hell. Oh, didn't even remember that they had uh, Le Captain as a one of these. Uh, Citizen Hammer! And I think they made, yes, Citizen Anvil. I believe they have to be played together. Yes, they have to be played together. I think they actually have one deck for the two of them, last I remember. They were definitely from Villain. But, like, this just continues on and on and on. Again, these are really pretty foils. I'm really actually hesitant to use these. I'm just glad to have them, even as just, like, nice pieces. Because it's not like I actually need these. And I think I bought the Villain card pack of the ones I didn't have. Ooh. Yeah, that really doesn't sound good. But then this gets into the Oblivion stuff, which I'm not going to cover right now, because for the same reason I didn't cover it in my Oblivion unboxing video. Um, I'm it, that, That's a really story-based expansion, sort of, or more story-based than any other expansion in the game, so I don't want to spoil stuff. Um, whew, whew, these are stuck together good, so keep that in mind when if you ever get this, if you're able to. Uh, but again, like this isn't as bad as the one set that I... Uh, one stack that was really stuck together in the Obli Oblivion expansion, but yeah, like that's still something you want to watch out for with cards. It's still not as bad as their original problem of print of their printing issue, which was these cards were so thin yet sturdy they would cut you. Um, I blatantly ended up like bleeding. Like I, there are some of my cards stained in blood just from the first time shuffling. Uh, regardless, that's all from these two. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, feel free to share this video. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press the dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, if you want to comment in general, such as you want to see these in detail, or anything like that, that would be the place to do it. And if you want to see or like this, be it more unboxing videos, my board game overview videos, or my painting videos or anything else that I do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.